Guys, listen. They got me reviewing another pistol. Literally, that's all I'm good for here, but... Yeah. There's... There's something weird about this one. Okay, okay this, all right, you're not qualified this anymore. Is, this is above my pay grade. That's not normal. Get that away from me. Oh, hi there. If you haven't seen our latest video, we'll go check it out about Zeus Armory because we need more likes on that video for that company to take us seriously, all right? We're aiming for a thousand likes, and do you want to be heard? Do you want another crappy M4? Well, I don't. So like the video. What are you? What are you doing in there? I don't know. It's kind of hiding. Okay. All right, guys. What's going on? Kevin from Airsoft GI here, and today we have the ASG BNT USW A1 LMNOP. Because, guys, can we please condense? Pistol names down into like a one word or one syllable, like like the dart. Maybe that's already a pistol name. I don't know. Anyway, that's besides the point. As you can see, we have a pistol platform here that has a stock pre-attached. That means you can't remove it. All right, and that's something you either really like or you really don't like. That is up to you. But hey, it's out there. So a quick little history lesson on this pistol. This is actually based off of the real BNT USW and the USW stands for Universal Service Weapon. And you know what's funny is that even though they call it a universal service weapon, it's kind of not seen that much anywhere. So anyway, that's besides the point. Um, this guy actually is compatible with CZ parts, Airsoft. Uh, which is funny because this pistol looks exactly like the the Chris Sphinx, which is a real firearm, um, which is kind of a, a similar pistol design to the CZ, but it's like the European versus the Americans. So I don't know how that all conglomerates, but there you go. This uses CZ parts for airsoft. So you're probably wondering which CZ platform fits into this gun. And if you have the CZ P09, it doesn't fit, sorry. The Mac Compality doesn't fit, unfortunately. But if you have the CZ Shadow P01, yes, it will fit. The mags will fit in this guy. Green gas, CO2, either one. If you have that platform already, then you can just use those uh, magazines in this gun already. Now let's go ahead and talk about the build quality of this pistol. So we do have a full metal slide and the rest of the gun is polymer, save for maybe the other picketing section. Is this, is this metal? Is, is polymer? That's polymer too. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, full metal slide, polymer build, and very reminiscent of the CZ platform. So if you do own a CZ, it'll be very familiar in terms of controls. You know, you have your slide release, your safety up here. Um, it is ambi safety, so that is good to know. And the trigger is actually a double action trigger, which means you can oh, pull it from all the way up there, or you can cock it back and ah so much nicer i prefer that uh, the uh, slide actually shows some unique characteristics because you cannot rack it from the back which is you know normally how you would you would have to rack it from the front which is why they added these little finger grooves for you to have an easier time racking the slide back now the outer barrel does have threading so it is tracer or suppressor ready which is great to see for a pistol out of the box and of course you have the standard uh, Picatinny mounts on the bottom of the grip so you can mount a foregrip, flashlight, laser, shotgun, whatever your heart desires. Now the Picatinny section at the top of the gun actually also works as an iron sight but it's like super low profile. The front iron sight doesn't even have an indicator like a white dot to line it up so honestly just, just slap a red dot on there like just make your life easier and use this gun to its maximum capability. Now, as you can see here, we do have the elephant in the room, which is the pre-attached stock, which does fold, of course, to make it even more compact. So if you really wanted to run this guy like a pistol, you could, um, but if you fold it up, very compact. There's also a little easy lever right here that releases the folding stock, spring-loaded as well. I like that. 
Yo, imagine if you get a melee kill with this, if you just go up to an enemy and just... Ow, that actually hurt. But yeah, anyways, folding stock, easily deployable. Feels very sturdy as well, as you will see during our shooting test. But that's pretty much it in terms of the external features. Also, a little feature that we forgot to mention are the trademarks on this pistol. On the left side, you can see the B&T logo, and you can also see the 6mm BB markings because you gotta do that to make it legal. Um, but on the outer barrel, we do have the 9x19 markings to show that it does shoot 9mm in the real firearm. And um, we also have the USW A1 markings on the magazine. Now you may be thinking that just because the magazine has the USW A1 markings on it that you'd have to use the USW A1 specific magazines for this pistol. However, you don't. Because if you do run the CZ Shadow SP01, you are able to use those mags in this platform, whether it's green gas or CO2. Also, they sell this magazine specifically with ASW A1 markings, USW, USW. USW markings uh, in a green gas version if you wanted to do that. But again, if you have the CZ Shadow platform magazines already, you can drop them in this guy, use them, no problems at all. Not even having any FPS fluctuations either. So if you already own that platform, good for you. If you don't, good luck finding some Shadow mags. I think they're out of stock. So breakdown of this pistol is very familiar and very similar to all other pistol platforms out on the market right now. You just need to pull the slide back. There is a little serration on the slide and the frame that you just need to line up. Once you have that lined up, you can push the body pin out, remove that, and there you go. Slide comes out, and you can see the inner workings of your pistol. Now, the hop-up adjustment is right here. There's a little uh, dial that you need to twist with a flathead, and that way you can adjust your hop-up right where you need it. Um, other things to note are the upgraded uh, recoil spring here, this little buffer. It's actually much nicer. And um, in terms of upgrade compatibility with the CZ Shadow platform, uh, if you have upgrades in your CZ Shadow, you can drop it in here since they are a very similar platform. But other than that, if you needed to maintenance your gun, lube it up, things like that, that's how you break it down. And you can put it back together in a very similar fashion. Again, line up that dot or the line, and then put in your body pin, and good to go. The USW A1 Kronos in at about 310 to 315 FPS using 0.2 gram BBs, using CO2 mag, which comes with it in the box, but we also chronoed it with a green gas mag, and it chronos in at about the same, which is very nice to see. Now, Boas, you might think this is weird looking, a little ugly even. However, these Picatinny rail sections are like a blank canvas to me. Let's paint. Why do I not feel comfortable about this? Come on, give me the give me this stuff. And there we go. So much better, don't you think? Actually, yeah, I kind of agree. There you go. If Boaz approves, then it must be great. Okay. <laughs> so Kevin, you might be asking, how much does this pistol run me? Well, on airsoftgi.com, you can get the ASG ABCD 123 Elemental P for $200, and you can use the Wombo combo. <laughs> and if you wanted an extra mag, specifically the green gas one, that will cost you an extra $40. What the hell? But if you have the shadow platform, like I said, just use those mags. Also, don't forget to use the Wombo combo to get the best savings in Airsoft. You can get free shipping on this guy and store credit back so that you can save up those points to eventually buy a red dot, a foregrip, a re uh, the, the tracer, or an extra mag. Probably not, because this thing is freaking expensive. Okay, that's enough talk. Let's go shoot this thing. All right guys, we're out here on the range and we do have a fresh mag with a fresh CO2 canister. So let's go ahead and pop that guy in. And uh, as you can see, the way you mount this guy in here is that it comes with a Allen key so that you're able to lock it in correctly. However, if you do have like a key or something, they do have that slot for you to use that instead. But let's just use the Allen key that they included. Tighten that guy all the way and let's hear that satisfying hiss. 
Well, I heard it. It was a little quiet, but there it is. We got it. All right, guys, so we're gonna be shooting this guy at some targets roughly 20 to 30 feet away. That's gonna be your average CQB distance. Dude, why are you so close? <laughs> So let's go ahead and see if we can hit those targets from right here. We do have the fresh CO2 and 0.25 gram BBs in here. Let's shoot. All right, here we go. I'm gonna shoot at the closer target first. That's pretty good. I would say the trigger response is very snappy, very reminiscent of the CZ platform, obviously. So if you are a fan of that trigger response, then you will be a fan of this. Personally, I really like it. It's a very crisp trigger pull, very short as well. But uh, let's see if we can. Bruh, bruh. Let's see if we can hit that 30 feet target. Woo. Woo, we are hitting it. That is pretty nice. I would say this stock makes it feel very stable. You can actually land some follow-up shots very consistently. Wow, that is actually very nice. Ooh. We got two more shots. Let's do it. There it is. Woo. Very nice. Who would I recommend this platform for? Well, if you are the kind of person that wants a very unique looking gun out on the field, you want an eye turner, a showstopper, well, this guy definitely looks unique and it's also a very satisfying platform to use. Got him. Not only that, again, if you have the shadow platform, it is cross compatible, so easy to transfer over. Or if you're that sniper that doesn't want to use their little dinky little sidearm pistol, well, now you can use this deployable pistol. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the overview of the ASG BNT USW A1 pistol. Please, guys, condense it to one word. That's all I ask. If you like the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring the bell icon to be notified of whenever we upload new videos. We upload every Wednesday and Friday, so be sure to be on the lookout for our latest content. This has been Kevin from Airsoft GI, and I will see you later. Just gonna fold this guy up and then uh, hopefully melee kill someone with this. Ooh, that, that would hurt. Ooh. Hello. My name is Francisco, and I am legally obligated to tell you of a new promotion. If you spend over $150 toward an automatic electric gun at airsoftgi.com, you will get a free red dot optic, which is capable of green and blue dots. This promotion is going on between November 17th to December 7th. Oh! oh. I just bought this gun in store. Can I get a free red dot? No, online only. <laughs> Literally, any automatic electric gun, $150 or more, will qualify to receive this free red, green, blue dot optic. Like this gun. Hey, hey, that's product. Hey, get back here.